excited for this because it's a lot of music that I feel like a lot of people don't know about a lot of artists people don't know about that will be coming soon top 10 most slept on artists comment down below if you want to see that video I feel like there are a lot of people whose music is really slept on and they just deserve recognition especially these specific albums some of them are mainstream some of them are kind of local artists so without further ado let's get into it so first I'm gonna start with the more mainstream kind of artist, artist that you definitely probably already know and if you don't you're sleeping and you need to wake up. The first album that we're going to be talking about is Tentacion Skins album. I feel like the album was extremely slept on. A lot of people just didn't appreciate it but I feel like you need to have a certain taste in music and at least have an open mindset in terms of music to really like appreciate the album. Anyone can basically tell from listening to his music this is the type of sound that he's been wanting to create and and he finally did it and I, I'm honestly like so happy with it. I'm so, 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 so happy with it. It was so great. It was a great mixture of all types of music. There's literally something for everyone to love and for someone to listen to the album and just say that it was not good, there's actually something wrong with you because that album was actually beautiful and I literally freaking love it. And what I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna play one song from each album, just a little snippet of it so you can get a little taste of what they're about. How can you not like this? Oh my god. And I was like, oh. talking about is Jaden Smith's A Sunset Tape, A Cool Tape Story. Honestly, that album is super freaking slept on. That album was like, honestly, really good. He made me so happy with that album, especially Plastic. Plastic Baby was, hold on. The next album that I want to talk about is Amaretta's Welcome to the Jungle. If you don't know who Amaretta is, I'm not even gonna tell you. I just need you to go look her up. I don't care if you go on Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. Just look up Amaretta the Great. She's an amazing person. She has such positive vibes. She's just a great influence. She talks about the realest, the absolute realest of the real in her music and I love it so much. Like she's one of, she's one of the most slept on female artists. She really put some work into this album and I love it. Like I can't, I don't even think I should give you a snippet. Like that album just needs to be played from beginning to end. I kind of feel like her album get, didn't really get a lot of attention because Dreezy dropped the album that night too. And like everybody was on Dreezy's album and no one cared about Amaretta's album, but us Amaretta people. There's nothing else I can say besides you need to listen to it because there's actually something wrong with you if you have not heard of Amaretta number one. And if you haven't listened to any of her music because she's freaking great. She's great. Great. Oh, by the way, I will leave the link to these albums in the description, but only on Apple Music because I don't have Spotify and that's kind of a little difficult. The next album that I'm gonna be talking about is Robbie Rich, Feed the Streets Part Two. Oh, oh my God. I literally get, that's, his album is kind of one of those albums that I, I, I can't not listen to at least one of those songs every day because it's just that hot. And I need people to be like, yo, Robbie Rich the man. Yeah, 
you know? Like, I never heard anyone once play this these songs. I've never heard anyone talk about these songs, this album. It was just pretty slept on. He dropped it in 2018. It's pretty fuego, and I need people to freak with it. I'm in London. I ain't trying to die, you know, but I brought one. Stay 10 toes down in my Balenciaga. Hopped off the porch and then I hopped inside the porch. Hey, fuck being the side, side nigga, I'm gonna be a main course. So the next album I'm gonna talk about is Jid DiCaprino 2. Hey there. Disclaimer, before you start coming with me about how I said Jid instead of J-I-D, I am now aware that it is J-I-D, not Jid. I don't know how I missed the dots in between the letters. I don't know why I put them all together to form a word. But little birdie told me that it's either or, you know, it doesn't really matter. So I feel like Jid in general is a slept on artist. Hmm. Spoiler alert. He has such a amazing flow. Like the flow gets me every time. Jid is popping and Di Caprino 2 was everything. Like literally every single song, song after song. And shout out to DeAsia, Asia Marche on YouTube. Link her in the description. She actually put me on to Jid like a couple months ago. So I love you because I love him and we love him. Like this song goes out to you. I love you baby girl. Kisses. I came up, I came up, put your chains up, and your brains up. I'm on a ship from a scene with the lean, with the cream, my you beans. I got the pen and the pen. I serve a dress, I give a deal when she mad, but she know that the bad got time for the mad. The next slept on album is K Camp's Rare Sound. That album was, it was. I feel like a lot of people think that K Camp fell off. Like he was like, big and now he's just like where is he now where are they now i don't know doing crack no my man's k camp is out here doing work baby i don't know what you guys are talking about buzzing in the club Ooh. trying to get geek with a bug everybody go to show no bitches won't hug they ain't feel like the tank album that I'm gonna say is extremely slept on is Bradley Campbell Little White Lie. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Because the album is not serious. This is not a serious artist at all. The serious artist behind it is Daylight who takes took on this persona on um, Vlad TV. If you don't subscribe to Vlad TV you should because his interviews are literally the funniest thing ever. Especially his interviews with Daylight AKA Bradley. Daylight is, he's a pretty slept on artist. He's known for his rap battles. If you don't know him, you should look it up on YouTube. He has a whole bunch of rap battles on there. And he did a couple interviews with Vlad TV. And for some of them, he came on as this Bradley person, which was a white man. And he was said to be Daylight's like half brother that was white. He came out with an album. I didn't even know he came out with an album until like a month ago, I'm pretty sure. It slept on because it's literally the funniest album I've ever listened to. Honestly, I'd recommend you watch some of the Vlad TV's um, interviews with Bradley um, before you listen to the album because if you just listen to the album, you're gonna be a little confused and worried about everyone that has downloaded it. It's something. I'm not even gonna give you a sample of it. It's just, it's something you need to experience for yourself on your own. I'll link the playlist to the interviews that Bradley did with Vlad TV in the description so you guys can just click it and go watch all of them, some of them, they're all literally hilarious. So my last three are the most absolute most slept on artists and albums because I know for sure that a lot of people don't know about them and you really need to bust out of your freaking bubble and experience them as artists. So the first one is Mosiah Dax Next Door. Honestly, I literally just found him on Instagram about a month ago because he had this ad advertising his newest album that just dropped um, at the end of 2018 and he is dropping another album I'm pretty sure soon. 
he just did a show in New York. Like he's doing a lot and honestly, his music is such a vibe. Honestly, I love his, this entire album is such a bop. It's such a chill vibe, but so fire at the same time. Like I don't even know what song to play because they're all so great. Musaya, I'm gonna send the link to this video to you, sweetie. So you know that you got a number one fan. We go from point A to point B And to point I wish you could join me I can say for any of these songs really is that's all I can say for any of these albums slash artists just listen to the guy damn album surprise I'm back I said something else wrong <laughs> love that for me the next album that i'm gonna talk about that is extremely slept on is rel carter's no handouts fucking fire i don't even want to play a song like i don't because there's so many like there's so many artists on this album and there's so many good songs on this album for me to just play one i might just give you guys a taste of all of it this album consists of 17 people on one album creates actual destruction in your headphones if you're wearing them. I hope you're not because they might actually catch your body on fire. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm gonna need another collab like this to happen. Hope you're watching. I'm going to need. I'm going to need another collab like this to happen. I'm not joking. The next album that is extremely slept on is 2942 by LND Dre. There's nothing else for me to say. It's LND Dre. Bars. Oh, get it. What? Somebody put me on a beat. Am I the most slept on artist? Whoa. Honestly, this album is super slept on. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't know about him as an artist. And you need to get your life together. Because he really be spitting some bars i swear bro all of lnd period be spitting some bars and i need them to drop another album with the three of them but um <laughs> um yeah yeah but no for real dre is honestly such an amazing artist he does some serious damage to a beat L literally all of it was just great there's nothing else for me to say. You did such a great job with this album. Congratulations, bro. You did fucking great. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You see you hang around the killers. Say you trapping, but you camping. You don't hang around the killers. I'm in the bed with the glitch to the next most slept on album i'm going to talk about is zay graders don't grow up too there's not really much i can say to introduce this except for give you background zay is a producer and he made two albums don't grow up part one and two honestly when i listened to that album when it first dropped in early january i was extremely shook i didn't really know what to do with myself at that point because i was like wow like wow like wow wow like freaking 
Honestly, the album has something for everyone to love. Uh, if you're an artist, I would definitely recommend you listening to both of them and definitely recommend hitting him up for beats because he does some serious work. He really puts some serious work into all of his beats and everything he does. He does some serious damage. One of my favorites on the list that I have because I'm a person that listens to the beat before anything else in a song. Like I literally could listen to any song that I like without words and just bop. <laughs> I just love music in general and I, it fascinates me how people can put such different sounds together and just make them so like cohesive. They just, just make them go to... It's just so great and that's exactly what he did and this album is slept on period that's all I'm gonna say. I, I literally could go on talking about music for a long time. I do have one favorite which is Senzu. Let's get into that real quick. Hold on. Go listen to the fucking album. This album was something else. I, I, I can't even tell you guys how much of something else it was. I mean, you really have to have an appreciation, appreciation, appreciation for music itself. There's really nothing else I can say about that. Honestly, just go listen to it. Like, I don't even want to play any other song for you because it's one of those albums that you should just listen from beginning to end. Period. All caps, no cap. Oh, did you get that? Got it? Did you get it? Did you get it? All caps, no cap. But no, for real, you guys should really check out this album and all of the ones that were on my list because they were all great. Honestly, super slept on. If you guys want to see the video of my most slept on artists, I think I might do more than top 10 because I have a lot of artists that are slept on. A lot of them haven't put out albums per se, so that's why they weren't on my albums list. Um, that's why my albums was kind of more mainstream people than underground people. I was gonna put Blueface on this list, but I think you guys are a little tired of me talking about Blueface, baby. <laughs> so like, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. I ain't turning down nothing. I turn nothing to something, little baby. I'm a dead loss. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, there's my top 11 most slept on albums. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. But if you do like those albums, if you've listened to them before, if you already do like them, let me know down in the comments what your favorite ones are. I hope I introduced you to some really good artists. I hope you like these artists and these albums. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Back. Bye. Second <laughs> Okay, bye.